<laughs> I will f up you. Welcome back, everybody, to Aqua World. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, woo. Well, we are here. We are present, and we are doing better than yesterday. Okay. Okay. Period. So, if this is your first time here, my name is Camera, but you can also call me Cam, or you can call me Aqua Girl. Okay. And I want to invite you right now, if you could subscribe and like this video i would really appreciate that and yes i have a special special guest today ah. and i'm so excited to have him you want to introduce yourself yo what's up my name is kendall <laughs> bruce you already know it's the don dada it's Come the on. real deal Come on. you ain't never seen nothing like <laughs> Shit, man, what's up what's up act like you know Period. All right. <laughs> My name Kendall Bruce. Do you also go by Mr. Aries? Too? I go by Mr. Aries too. Period. Uh, <laughs> Talk so about I... you nervous. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. I started yelling. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. I don't know what has gotten into that. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am having so much fun already. I'm sorry, Kim. I'm sorry. I'm so, I feel so grateful because he made us some tea. And did. Okay. I just had diarrhea, y'all. Oh, hey. It's that it's season. Real. It's that diarrhea se season. It's that season to make sure that you your, your body is intact, okay? You know I me? Mean? But anywho, what you do last night? I went to Sexy Red concert. Ooh, ski. I was shaking when my nigga was shaking his dress. He had a whole circle around him. Did he? I was twerking. Okay. Um, what else? I seen Krishan. How was seen, how was that? It was Krishan. She was okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that part. Yeah, it was Krishan. Uh, okay. Uh, sexy was cute. She was pregnant. She was doing her little. Right. <laughs> Right. It was cute. It was a cute show. What was your favorite song she did? You know what? Sexy always salutes on my favorite song. It's called Sexy Walk. Have you heard Sexy Walk? I feel like I've heard that one. How does it? Do you know how it goes? Do I don't you know give a fuck if Ooh. you skinny or you thick. Oh. Hit that sexy walk. I love a bitch with confidence. Oh. Sexy walk. Uh, sexy walk. Uh, <laughs> sexy walk. Oh. Okay. And you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? Because I was thinking about this on the way here about what? sexy. It's like, I don't listen to her all the time, but I know her music goes up like at a club or something. And I can't help but like, it's one of the, it's one of them, she's one of those artists to me. It's just like, she a vibe. You don't listen to her, why? <laughs> <laughs> what's the worst female excuse? Hmm. <laughs> because she's Why? just she's just not somebody that I have in my like rotation. She's just she's just not. Who was in your rotation? Mm, I I listen to Ice Spice. She's in <laughs> well, okay. Nikki or Cardi go. Nikki. Oh, Nikki yes. Mirage, all day. Yes. Okay, you can stay all day. I was gonna have to kick you out. Cardi you said Cardi B. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm a Nikki girl. Always have been. Period. You see the pink. Okay, period. I love how you're going like this to me. When like, <laughs> I'm interviewing you, girl. <laughs> right, because you be doing, you used to do I stuff know. like this. Oh, I miss it. I miss it. I'm not gonna cap. You should, you should keep doing that. I had left social media because like my job like just wore me out. I was gonna ask you that because you had took a break from Instagram. Like I've really been off. Was it like was it like a year? Yes, it's been like all year. Like nothing on my stories ever. Right. Like, just a few posts if I go on a trip or something. That's it. Wait, so you took a break because you was tired of work? What happened? <sighs> I started, like, really, like, doing a lot of content um, and, like, interviewing people. You know, I got in that whole role. Right. And then I had, like, groups of people. No shade, but, like, my friends, they, like, loved what I was doing and they wanted me to be a part of whatever they were doing and mm -hmm. wanted me to interview people and my job did too oh. and so it was like uh it was just a lot of like creative it was just a lot of effort it just 
wasn't real. It, it was wasn't real. Yeah. It wasn't real. It wasn't authentic. Mm. It was forced yeah. creativity. Right. And so it just, when it's like forced, it just drains the fuck out of me. Like, yeah. I'm always the kind of person where I'm I'm not hot or cold. Right. I'm either in or I'm out. Mm-hmm. And I was in it for myself. And then when they tried to jump in it, it became too much. And I was like, I'm out of it. Yeah. So I just left the whole shit. I was like, I need a fucking break. But like you said, it's like the authenticity was gone. It was because gone. Because you are a person that's like very yourself. Yes. Like to the core. To the fucking core. I have to be. There's no other way. Yeah. There's no other way for me. Okay, and that was one of my questions I had written down is, how did you get to a point to where you started making, like, you know, the silly videos that you make and putting them out and feeling comfortable to put them out? Like, without no fear? Did you have fear, or did you... Uh, how, how did that work? It was more so... When I was in the Navy, right. I was doing it on Snapchat back then. Right, Snapchat, yeah. yeah. The stories, yeah. <laughs> A lot of it was just like I needed a creative outlet because in the military you can't be yourself. Right. So like that was a chance for me to finally be myself once I got off work on Snapchat Mm -hmm. or in my uniform and I'm twerking and I'm voguing and shit. Right. That was my chance to finally like have a creative outlet because mm. I can I couldn't shave my hair my any way I want I had to wear this uniform every day right. I had to take these orders I was not myself so right that was just me being myself and that's that's just how I seen it okay yeah. and just putting it out you're just like yeah, whatever I was like and people was liking it and people was laughing so I was like fuck it I'm gonna just keep going just keep acting wild keep being obnoxious as hell <laughs> <laughs> I'm obnoxious as fuck and I Period. love it. I, I, love l- it. I love it too. Especially when you like on TikTok <laughs> eating crazy food. Oh, I love cooking. Ter- I'm a terrible cook and I fucking love it. It looks disgusting to y'all, but it's so good to me. That's all I care about. That's all, it's good to me. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Not a damn thing. I literally be cracking <laughs> up. I be like, oh my God, I love this so much. I really do. Because it's so disgusting. Yeah. It's just like, that's the shit that hits me in my core. Okay. <laughs> so before we got on camera, we were talking about how you don't like when people say, Who is that? What do you, who is that? Oh, my best friend. He could oh, work. okay. Hey, Dre. Hey, Dre. You don't <laughs> like when people say, What do you do? And I don't like that question either. Okay, because especially when you're a person of many talents, okay, when you do a lot, you could do a lot, and you are definitely one of those people. Um, So, what do you, what do you say to that when people ask you that? It depends on who's asking me. Yeah. So, if I'm in a music space, I'm going to tell them I'm a DJ, I'm a producer. Mm Mm-hmm. If I'm in an art gallery and I'm in a museum or some. I'm going to say, oh, um, I'm a painter. I'm a product maker. Right. Um, It just depends on who's asking me. Okay. So you switch it up. I switch it up depending on the audience. Okay, cool. Because I was going to say, you know how with with the the climate of, of social media, they're like, if you're a person of many talents you should stick to one and just push that and yeah. then you know do you do you resonate with that or no mm, no i just try to do my own thing because i really don't know what i'm doing majority of the time I'm just doing shit yeah and then shit works out right like i always use the story as examples i'm gonna make it short uh i'm into fashion i make clothes i made this hat right period i made a shirt yes when i was in school i made like eight shirts no rules. I got no one. No rules. I love that oh, shirt. You have one? Yes. I can't. That is like an exclusive. It has your name on the back. No. What? It doesn't have my I name. I forgot what I did with it. Okay. No. But I you have, have one of my shirts. Okay. Yes. Cam. It says it says something else yes, on the back. Yes, it's a quote on the back. Yes, yes. It's like, don't let them tell you what to do. Yes. That should be you. Period. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. She got one of the shirts. Mm-hmm. I made that shirt just to make shirts because I'm, I'm into fashion. Right. That shirt, the first shirt that sold was a shirt um, that sold in Germany. Mm. When I sold that shirt in Germany, I went to go ship it and it was $124. To ship. And I told the dude, I was like, you not getting this shirt no time soon. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't have that. I didn't have $124 to ship a shirt. Are you kidding me? Right. So I told him, you're not getting this shirt no time soon. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, it's cool, bro. We, we kept talking. Yeah. We ended up becoming best friends. 
And then he was like, yo, my friend is opening his own, um, a new dental clinic. It was like three stories tall. Like he's a, like, whatever. Yeah. He's like, he's having a premiere and he wants you to DJ. So that was my first overseas DJ gig because I made the shirt. And I remember when you went, oh yes. Where did yes. you go? Where did you go? I went to, I went to uh, Germany. Yes. I went to Frankfurt. You went to yeah. Right. yeah. I DJed in Frankfurt. Wow. Because of the shirt. So if I didn't make that shirt. I would have never got that gig. Right. So that's why I'm just like, I'm going to do everything because it always leads to another part of my art that I love. Absolutely. So you was, so would you tell people to not do that? Like just keep doing you, do whatever you want to yeah, do? Yeah, do whatever just, you want to do. There's no rules to this. Like there's no set in stone rules to this. Like yeah. you got to have all your desires met as long as you're chasing your desires. Okay, amen. You know what I'm saying? No, that's facts. Because I feel like I begin, I used to get in my own way so much of just like, okay, I need to stick to one mm. thing and do one thing. Yeah. But I'm like, no, I do all the things. So now exactly. I feel like I've been just like concentrating on combining mm -hmm. things to work together yep. you know so it's like i'm doing the podcast thing but i'm, I'm wearing a look you know okay. what i'm saying like yes i'm doing my fitness stuff but you know but also at the same time if i'm doing fitness it's like i may be saying uh, something to inspire the people you know or exactly. uplift the people or something exactly. uh, just stuff like that i'm trying to think on that level you know how to combine them that makes sense yeah I and mean, sometimes they'll combine on their own yeah, that's fact as yes. long as you chasing whatever you want to do it's gonna come together right that's why I'm like yo I'm gonna just do whatever it is that's on my heart mm -hmm. if it's on your heart that's all you gotta do yes that's all you gotta do is what's on your heart yes if it's on your heart Child, do it I'm trying to tell you okay so <laughs> so who is Kendall who Ooh. are you oh never mind. that was the record who am I? Who are you? Uh, I'm an Aries. <laughs> I'm loud as shit. Period. I'm obnoxious. <laughs> I'm a nigga that love wearing all black. <laughs> you ain't gonna never see my eyes. So I'm always gonna have shades on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good friend. I'm a good son. I'm a good boyfriend. Shout out to my okay. nigga James. Okay. I love you, baby. I met him today and he is such a sweetheart. My man's so fine. And he's an Aquarius, period. Shout out to Aquarius. Some, Aqua gang. Sometimes, I don't, I don't. sometimes what? Sometimes Aquarius is be iffy. Why? I just know some crazy ones. But people be saying that. But what do they do, though? <sighs> you can never, like, Aquarius is just up and down. Like, you can never really <laughs> find middle ground. With <laughs> like, no Aquarius is yeah. like, like the other Aquarius. Oh, yeah. They're, we're all very different. Facts. You, what? You Aquarius? I'm an Aquarius. I thought so. That's why I said. You know, of course, she's just like, I. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, let me get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was an Aquarius. No, yes. I knew you was an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. I love that. Y'all are vibey. Doesn't that make sense? I just know some whole ass Aquariuses, like, ran through. Oh. <laughs> but none of the Aquarius are alike. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I am. I can, I can deeply agree with that. Like, none of them are like... Oh, you can deeply agree. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Aries be ran right through too now, all right. No, Aries be very impulsive. Yo. <sighs> Aries be like, now. I need now. it now. Yes. I that's need that, it now. That's that fire energy. For sure. <sighs> we got to keep it lit. Yes. So what are you inspired by right now? What am I inspired by right now? Mm -hmm. Um... I don't want to sound corny, but I'm really inspired by myself and, like, my drive. Like, mm -hmm. me pushing myself. Like, I'll go to the gym and yeah. I'll run six miles. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay. Like, that makes me, like, seeing myself get that far will make me have the courage or make me have um, the feel like, okay, I could do this, I could do this, and I could do right. this. Right. Right, you know, right. Like that's what's been keeping me going. What like, but like external. I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about that question. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's and I think it's okay to say and I don't know. And that's really fine. I, Honestly, you like, don't gotta have an answer for everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm also trying to get used to that. And that's just really honestly Me too. being like, I don't know. That's and real. also too, when people ask you stuff, like take a moment to really think about it. 
Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, you got to have an answer. I feel like yeah. that's what I be working on, too, of just like, hmm. Yeah, like you said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making sure I'm going with the flow. I'm making sure I'm staying productive, staying prayed up. Staying right. close to God Amen. Staying close to my family too Yeah Just like Seeing my growth Has been like My own motivational factor For me really Yeah you know? That's the same Absolutely <laughs> Cause you could just be like Dang like Five years ago Two months ago Like I'm just totally different Literally You know what I'm saying Literally That's good Are you in school? Yeah Where do you go to school? I go to Fitham You go back So you used to go to Fitham Right? Yeah. Yes and then I stopped During pandemic Okay Yeah why? Why'd you stop? Because it was everything was online. I don't learn like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to be same. in the class. Me I too. Right I need there. to touch. Yeah, I'm I need the same to way. See it. Y'all not gonna give me no bullshit through the through the through the screen. Right. No, I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go to fit them so bad when I got out of high school. I remember going yeah. up talking to a counselor. Yeah, same. That's so dope that you do that. Thank you. Do you love it? Yeah, actually, I do not. I hated it when I was back. Like I was doing product development. Mm-hmm. And like, it's so crazy because now I'm doing product development on my own, but when I was in school, I hated it. But mm. now I'm in school for visual communications, which is just- That's what I was gonna do. Yes. Yeah, yes. you was? I wanted to do visual Yo, communications. You would yes. love it, you would love it. Yes. You would love it. It's, it's, it's right up my alley. Like, I don't know where it's gonna take me, but I know that visual communications is something that I'm already good at. Yeah. And so I just see myself just fine tuning my my knife. Yeah, you know, just exactly. Making my knife sharper and just getting better at what I'm already good at. Exactly. And then just take it, I'm just gonna take it from there. Okay. So what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing in class right now? Um. Okay. So I'm, I'm in a set design class right now. Mm -hmm. Last quarter, I built an app. I had a UX class. Um. I made a magazine. Wow. Is um, it right there? Yeah. Go yeah. get it. Let me see it. Okay. Oh, I'm about to blow y'all minds. Oh. oh, I don't even know if I should show them this. Though. Why? Okay, because this is low key prototype shit about her. that I'm working on. Like, camera, you haven't even seen this yet. <laughs> okay, so for my class, I made a um, this is cute. A augmented reality magazine. Now, the teacher didn't ask me to make this, but this was just my concept because I feel like if we're gonna bring magazine back. Why are we not bringing it back in a more digital way? Something that's a lot more interactive, something interesting. Absolutely. <sighs> okay. So I thought about making a SoundCloud magazine. Cause why does Ooh. SoundCloud not have a magazine that have so many artists? Right. SoundCloud, what are you doing? That. Wow. Yes. So, to make it interesting, what the hell is this? Here, camera. You yes. have to do the honors. You point that at the cover and turn them pages. It's which wow. So y'all can't see it right now. Wait, 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 wait. That's the that's the table of contents. It's bubbles. <laughs> camera, you this gotta show the so you gotta show the camera. How can we You, just you gotta, gotta record it? No, just just go like this, girl. But they don't get the full effect. Go like this. Hold okay, on. wait. Will it work like that? Yeah. Okay, y'all look. They can't see it. They can't see it. Y'all see that moving? Y'all see that moving? Y'all see the magazine That is moving? the cover moving, okay, child. Right Let me go to the stage. Wow. Hey, Kendall, this... Okay, my bad. We moving too much. But yes, y'all get the idea. Y'all get the idea. And this is, my, this is my page, the editor. Come on. Come on. Come on, load now. Oh, you know it's me DJing. Oh my God! Yeah. But when you look at it, it's just this. It's just a blank page until you point it, point the camera at it, and then you can see all these pages actually have media behind them and they move. This right, whole, it comes to life. Whole video right here. How did you? How did you <laughs> learn about? Is this you? Did you make this app? Is this no, app no, you no. made? No, I didn't make this app. No. How did you learn about that app? I can't remember. Do you like be searching for apps and stuff or do you like No. You just come across stuff. Yeah, I think I came across that a long time ago. <laughs> Kendall. He <laughs> He is so far. Do, are your like T 
teacher is very impressed with you? Like, with the stuff that you created? Yeah, that, that teacher, he was just silent. The whole class went crazy. Absolutely. He was just silent. He was just like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> he didn't Mind ask me to do he didn't write you, you said you just did that. He didn't ask me to do none of that. <laughs> I make, I'm making so much stuff right now, Cam. Like, um, you know the AirPod Maxes? Yeah. I made these... <coughs> <coughs> I made these covers for it. Yeah. Uh, but it's a prototype. So it's not really. Come. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> hold up. But hold it, up. This, is a, this is a 3D model. So wait, this so is, you put these so on? So you put those on. Now, this isn't going to fit on there yet because this is. A, I need to make a silicone mold out of this. This is too hard to fit on the side of it. But this is the idea, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the idea. This is the concept. So I have two 3D artists that I work with. Wow. And then I'm gonna put holes all up, all up the side of these. Uh -huh. So um, whoever has their ears, they can they can customize them. Wait, so you said you're gonna put AirPods? These are AirPod case covers for these. Uh, the covers? Yeah, the covers. Wow. Yeah, so the covers gonna cover like an ear. And so I got an earring in there right now. I'll put some more holes, but um, yeah, this is a concept. This is just the, you, know, you gotta have like prototypes and like molds and shit like that. Oh, when you talk about innovation, this is him right here. <laughs> we gotta show them the painting. How can we do that? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pause it. No, let's keep it moving. No, okay, you wanna do it? Come on. Let's do it. Let's Where show them the painting. At? Okay. Okay, we are gonna go into his room. Okay, don't show my bed and shit, girl. Okay. Shit. All right, my, <laughs> shout out to my shout out to my man. He cleaned the room. Shout out to James. Shout out to my man. Okay. Like man that's so it. this is a Renaissance painting. Right. Oh. This is Renaissance. Open, open the blinds a little oh, okay, bit. Okay, but. So we get a little light. Damn it, those. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Y'all know Renaissance by Beyonce. Y'all know the album cover, right? Yeah. So this is the inverted painted album cover. So when you put a camera over it that's inverted, you can actually see the real art. All and right? you're showing this at a gallery, I'm right? showing this at a gallery on December 7th. Yeah. Pull up. Okay. Yes, pull up. Please pull up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look. Come in on the... Let me see. Can you see it? Can y'all see this? This is him pointing his camera on the painting. Yeah. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. That's but crazy. wait, look, this is how the painting looks before. Y'all see it? And then... After. Amazing. But wait, show them the little video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's the not little even clip. That. Hold on, hold on. That's a lot going on, y'all. That's a lot going on. Let me see. I can't. Let me see. Okay. Like, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Yeah. He, <laughs> Kendall, hmm. you are crazy. I know, I know, I know. I just quit my job. Did you? Yeah. What was your job? I was a graphic designer oh, for, Lord. oh, shit, hear me Okay, yeah, that's nice. Okay. I, will gra I was a graphic designer for this company called uh -huh. It's a nonprofit company called mm -hmm. And they basically specialize in making sure that um, BIPOC, meaning like urban demographic, mm -hmm. um, are able to get jobs mm -hmm. and not only just get the jobs, but move up in the position so they can close the economic wealth gap. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. And so what were you making? Bullshit. Right, that she was just like <laughs> that. I was not feeling. <laughs> okay. So you, at first it wasn't like that. Yeah. But as time progressed, like just things just changed. People left. People came, and the vision um, for me just kind of got lost. Yeah. It was. It was. I was totally just out of it. Yeah. And, and it became a thing where it was like, I really didn't have a creative vision there at all. So I was like, What the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. So in the beginning, you was feeling like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm into this. Yeah. I like this. But eventually it started to become like, Oof. 
not my thing. Yeah. Not my thing. Like similar to how you got off Instagram. Like just like I can't. Yeah. yeah the authenticity just, was not. It's not. Was there. not there. If it's not there, I'm not fucking with it. Okay. <laughs> so you just, so you just left. Yeah. Okay. And how do you feel? I feel liberated. I feel yes. a little different because it's like, oh, fuck, I love a job. But okay, that feels sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have a job. <laughs> Unemployed, baby. But, but I'm still getting money. Period. Don't get it twisted. Just because just cause I ain't got no job don't mean I'm not getting money. Because the goal is is anyway to not work for nobody. Okay. Period. Thank you. That is the goal anyway. Oh, my God. Yes. Now you preach it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like every time that I took that leap and quit a job, God always takes care of me. Mm. God is so good. Truly. The way he moves is so crazy. It's, like, isn't it like, oh my it's God. It's like, bruh. I could have never, I could have never thought that this would have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that about shout God. Shout out to God for real. Shout out to God. And shout out to you, newly employed. I'm happy for you. Thank newly you. unemployed. Newly unemployed. Now I can focus on my art. Yeah. Like now I can really focus on being the true person I'm supposed to be like I couldn't focus on myself when I'm putting so much focus and emphasis on everybody else and these companies and these corporations right and shit. Bruh. that's not really yo yo it's like granted you know I learned some really good things from them shout out to them I'm never just gonna like talk bad about somebody right everything adds value at the end of the day yes but builds your skill set in some way yeah the most valuable thing is adding to yourself. Period. And pouring okay. into your own cup. Come on. You better tell a word on this Sunday. Okay? So should I left and I'm pouring it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pour it up, pour it up. Hey, Watch it all fall out. Hey. <laughs> that's how we ball out. Hey. <laughs> Period. Wait, okay. Oh, God. I have another question of... Have you ever struggled with the idea of like, just like success and like, I haven't made it yet? Yeah. You um, know, like, do you still, do you still struggle with that now? Or do you feel like you just going, like you said, you going with the flow. So do you feel more comfortable where you are? Or do you uh, still feel like, I haven't made it yet? No, I don't beat myself up as much as I used to. Yeah. Because like. Um, for example, mm-hmm. I look at like my old fitness pictures mm-hmm. where I was like really struggling to get somewhere, and then a year after that, I had I had fell off. But like I was successful at that point. In time. Right, right. So like right now, I see myself as successful at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Highly successful. Like I have a great home. I'm in a great space with my family. Most of all, amen. Which a yes. lot of people that's hard for a lot of people to really, say. Yes. To have. To be, especially as a black gay man, to have a good relationship with both his parents, his mother and his father. That's a blessing. Yes. And my grandparents. And 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 I'm tight with family that I wasn't tight with for such a long time. Yeah. And I finally, like, was able to forgive and open up my heart and accept them. And we have a great relationship now. Oh, And it's shit that. like that that makes yes. you success. Like, that's, that's real success. success. <laughs> It's like that shit. Yes. So, so like, I do feel highly successful right now. Good. When it comes to my career, I'm still in the growing, learning, trying phase. Mm -hmm. But I feel good about where I'm at. Good. You know, I don't have all the answers about what's going to come next. Right. But I'm confident about what's going to come next. Yeah. So... Okay. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> no, that is a, that is so beautiful. Like to me, the same. Like it's all about relationships. Yes. And especially with your family, if you're Man. able to be in a good space with them, wow. Because that that puts you in a good heart space it, here. Yes. And then like the rest will follow. For, yes, honestly. I really feel like that's why I'm I'm blessed to have my partner that I do now mm-hmm. because I'm able to like open up my heart enough. To receive that love. Yeah. Like, he gives me so much. But you have to, like, be a loving person to get, get a loving person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got to be blessed with that. Like, oh. I wake up. I wake up with so much joy in my heart. <laughs> Come on. I just, I just feel so good. For real. For real. He said, huh? <laughs> For real. Okay. But. And so, okay, what, what? got you to a loving place because when you attract 
someone who's loving, it's like you have to cultivate that love within yourself first. Yeah. So how do you feel like you did that? I just looked at a few examples in my life where, okay, for my mom and blessed, but my mom, my mom was beefing with family for a long time and like, it really took a toll on her. And yeah. I took a page from her book and I was like, you know, I don't want that for myself. Yeah. Like I understand and I was able to see that it was the forgiveness that she wasn't giving that was taking a toll on her life. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I know I need to be forgiving. Like, yeah. And then I'm just, I'm just the type of person where like, I just can't hold a grudge. Right. It's just, I don't have time to be holding no grudge. Like I have so much other shit that I'm thinking about and creating. I'm just like, what? Yeah. But, um, and I just feel better when I don't hold a grudge. Yeah. And like, just like you, when you come and you, and we get older and we understand more about spirit, spirituality and yeah. God and like you start meditating and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like, girl, it opens you up to a, like a whole different mindset. Yes. And so like, um, I just say back to my beginning, you know, I, I don't, I look at examples of people who don't forgive. I look at examples of people who are doing bad and I figure out what is why, why what is what's, bad that what is bad you know what I'm saying yeah a lot of times people are doing what's keeping them there yeah mm-hmm. and it's a lot of times it's childhood trauma it's not even their fault yeah you know I, I watch a lot of intervention and in like drug series and stuff like that and a lot of times childhood trauma they don't even want to but like they have to forgive right you have to forgive mm-hmm. and so I just was like I need to make sure that I forgive like right now I'm still in the process of forgiving a few people but like those are just like external people as far as my core and my family you're good yeah i'm good i mean i still need to i feel like i need to talk to my grandma i don't really talk to her that much because mm-hmm. we never really grew up that close yeah um and like sometimes i kind of be feeling like kendall are you not fucking with her mm-hmm. and like at the at the truth of it is like i'm really not yeah but that's not okay yeah it's not okay so i'm still getting there to that point i need to build a relationship with her right but i feel like once i build a relationship with her i really feel like that's everybody off the list Okay, that's honest though, yeah. and that's gonna take. It's gonna take time. Yeah, that's yeah. good though. Yeah, I don't have no grudge against her though. It's just like I don't have a, um, the want to reach out. Yeah, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not okay. Like this is my grandma. I should want to talk to her. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that. So when you gonna call her? Mm. <laughs> what if you call her right now? Right now. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? Uh, Hey, how you doing? Like, just wanted to say hi. Right. I guess. I think she's actually she's actually appreciated, probably. No, you don't gotta call her, but you should you should definitely call her soon. I think that'll be nice. This is your mom's mom. This is my dad's mom. Oh, your dad's mom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do I want to call my grandma, (laughs) y'all? Really you don't real. Don't call her no, no, for real. Don't call her right now I don't I do you. though That's the thing Like I do But I'm just like mm, Okay What 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 is keeping you Right She's now She's just like I don't really We don't really vibe With each other like that Like you You just don't know How it's gonna go You feel like You know what There was a point in time I was calling her every month And it was just like Cause she be doing A little shady stuff And it's just like Girl <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying yeah, to be nice. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. all right, no. I <laughs> <laughs> like just a little stuff yeah, you can Yeah, it's like, yeah. okay. You yeah. Know what? I'll call you later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I love my grandma. I've had me and my family, like my cousins, we definitely had little beasts with my grandma. Not Nothing crazy, but grandmas mm. sometimes do be slaying. They be saying slick shit. Stuff. And they be like, they be saying slick stuff. Up for sure. Bro, I would bop the fuck out of you <laughs> if you was not my grandma. Right. Watch your fucking mouth. Right. She be saying shit like, yeah, because Kendall's not going to have any kids anytime soon. Oh, yeah. I remember one time she got in my car. I had this fly-ass car. It was a BMW 528i. It was Ooh. clean as fuck. Yeah. She got in the car. She said, whose car is this? <laughs> like, why can't it she be my car? She was dead-ass serious. Right. She was like, how you paying for this? Ooh. <laughs> just shady shady for no, out of nowhere for no reason right. I, I was picking her up right I opened the door for her right she don't get a, who car you can't babe who's her who is this who's car is this <laughs> damn that's how you gonna do me the, the last interaction was that shit like well we know he ain't gonna have no kids no time soon it was just like damn why are you shading me right we all on three-way trying to have a good time right now. Yeah. And do you just, like, kind of stay silent in those moments? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to disrespect my grandmother. Good for you. Yeah. But, b- <laughs> <laughs> I will f*** up. 
fuck you. <laughs> Let me catch you in the street. <laughs> Grandma or not, I'll have somebody come beat your ass playing. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Grandma. Love you, Grandma. <laughs> love, you, love you, Nina. Love you, Nina. Shout out to Nina. Oh my God, I'm having the best time ever. <laughs> okay, go. Well, we answered all my questions. We did. Mm hmm. But we can still keep talking. Okay. What you want to talk about? What are you enjoying about your relationship right now? Ooh, I'm enjoying so much about my relationship right now. Yeah. Um, I love how affectionate he is. Mm -hmm. um, he's very caring. Very Y'all be like cuddling on the couch? Of course, right there. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, he's very like, babe, I'll do it for you. I'm like, don't move. I'm like, damn, like, damn. I'm really enjoying how like, it's a real partnership. Yes. Like, a lot of times relationships felt like, um, this is my boyfriend and I have to do this for him. Like a, like a separate entity. Yeah. But like with this, it feels like jo like a joint thing. Mm. It feels like we're congruent and we're moving together and we're like, we're like one congruent force. It doesn't yes. feel separate. It doesn't feel disjointed. That's like, good. I, I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's really great. It's really great. I love how he, um, how he just cares for me. I yeah. never saw him met. I feel like I'm usually the, the partner that's caring for the other person more. Yeah. But like with him, like you could definitely tell he he definitely cares almost more than me. I care in a different way. Yeah. But like you can but see you, it. You can see. It you him. can see it just like in the things that he does. Yeah. For you. Like yeah. you say, he cooks and. Yeah. That's beautiful. Like, cause I don't cook shit. I'm yeah. not cooking shit. Yeah, we we You're know. Not gonna catch me <laughs> cooking. Oh, if you do, it's gonna be it's gonna look nasty. <laughs> it's gonna be good though. <laughs> I it's going to look nasty, but it's going to be good, gonna though. Be good, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh, I want to tell you, I got No Rules is my brand now. That's not just Oh, that's the brand. That's the brand name. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically just like sharing my unconventional ideas. And I want to encourage people to just think outside the box, accept what's, what's outside the box as well. Yes. And know that there's no rules to this thing called life. You can do what you want. You can be who you want. Yes. Be yourself. Be who you are. Yes. And so I'm going to be sharing a lot of my ideas that are a bit unconventional to the general public, but still fit within the streetwear genre. Right. And still fit within like a scope of like wearable items or products that you might enjoy. Right. Just like, you know, some like cool shit. So I'm just ready to build my own empire, you know what I'm saying? Is, ready to yes. be myself, have my own shit. Yeah. F corporations, f this nine to five shit. Honestly. Put that work in yourself, nigga. Make your own shit. Yes. Do your own shit. Yes. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. You want to take it away? We gonna we gonna close it out because I gotta. She got a dip. I gotta I gotta uh, shoot something with Ari too. Oh, I love Ari. I know me too. Oh. I love Ari so much. So much. Shout out to Ari. Shout out to Ari. I did a gig and I had these paintings up. Okay, sure did. I painted that. <laughs> he does it all, y'all. I do it all. He does it all. But okay, this was great. This was so fun. This was so fun. Talk Yo, about I'm nervous. I, I'm still nervous. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. I was still nervous. I just, I just code it by yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I right. swear to God. No, I know. When I start getting nervous, I just start getting loud. <laughs> like shit. Ah, <laughs> y'all distracted now, huh? <laughs> ah. Exactly. Take it away. I <laughs> All right, y'all. Also, also, uh, me and him met in oh, 2008. Eight? Something like that. So I've known him for so long, and I feel so blessed that. We are still friends, even though it's like I don't talk to him all the time. We don't talk every day. We don't do all that. But it's like every time we come back together, oh it's just God. oh my God. It's right back. And oh I feel like God. those are the type of relationships that's just like they just stand the test of time. And I'm so grateful. I think I just counted and I got to fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, can we let me see? Eighteen two thousand eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wait. 
I think that was 18. 15. I can't count right now, y'all. 15. No, because that was 15, 16, 17. It's like 17 or 18. It's almost 20 years. Girl, it ain't been no damn 20 years. I said almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, that's crazy. Yes. And we met in chemistry class. Oh, we had chemistry? Yes, we had chemistry. Girl, my memory is shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so grateful. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, thank you for hitting me up and saying, I want to be on. I want to be a part of whatever you're doing. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for being in my corner all these years and just being a good person to me. You're so welcome. Thank you for being a good person, just period, to the world. Thank you. Hey, it ain't easy, okay? But you make it look easy. Thank you. Very graceful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach. You're welcome. Aww. Coach. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming back to Aqua World. This was my special guest. Okay, Kendall Bruce. Kendall motherfucker. Bruce. Period. In the flesh. Okay, check yeah. him out. I'm gonna tag his um his uh YouTube. You made it to a thousand subscribers too. So sure did. Shout out. Are you gonna be doing lives and stuff? I don't know. Cause don't when know. you get a thousand subscribers, you can go live. Shit, I didn't pop this shit. <laughs> My bad, y'all. You good. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna see y'all at the next episode. Anything you wanna say? Close it down. Keep God in your life and know that he always with you, okay? Amen. Don't ever worry about what you got going on next because God got you. Amen. I promise you that. <laughs> For Okay? I promise. promise. You that. I promise you. All right, y'all. On that note, we out. Bye. Bye.